For number one, it says find the solution of the system. And so you're given a couple choices here. So one thing you could do is you could label the points X and Y. And you could plug them in to the equation to see which one works. So for example, if I plugged X is 1 and Y is 1 to the top equation, it would look like 2 times 1 plus Y is 1 equals 3. Now, if I simplify that, 2 times 1 is 2. If I add 2 and th sorry, 2 and 1, I do get 3. So we know that that 1, 1 is a solution to the top equation because when we plugged it in, it worked out perfectly. But you have to make it work in both. So I'm going to plug that into the second equation and try it. So 1 goes into x minus 2 times y. y is also 1 equals negative 1. So we're going to work this out and see if it equals negative 1. So I bring my 1 down. Negative 2 times 1 is negative 2. And 1 times negative 2 is negative 1. So in that case, if you heard, Ollie's correct. It is 1, 1. And so like on the test, since it's multiple choice, you would actually just fill in A on the Scantron. On number 2, it says, what is the solution of the graph of the linear system? So I find the point that the two lines meet. And that's right there. So that would be negative 3, and then I went up 3. Okay, so in number 3, you could do it the same way as number 1. Okay, so you could just plug in the points. It's kind of hard to see them. So um, we would have x and y again. And when looking at this, um, it doesn't matter which equation you try first. So we'll just try the top one. So 3 times 0 plus the y. y is 4. 3 times 0 is 0, and 0 plus 4 is 6. Well, we can see that 0 plus 4 does not equal 6. So we know that A is not a solution. So I'm going to try... Um, B, two, I know that B got punched out there, but 2, 0, X, Y, we're going to plug it in. So 3 times 2 plus 0 equals 6. 3 times 2 is 6. If I add those together, we get 6 equals 6. So we know that's true. So we need to also make sure we plug it into the second equation. So y is 0 in this case. And then x is 2 minus 2. And 2 minus 2 is 0. So again, it's true. So that means that b is my solution to 0. In this case, you're looking just for now.